This is a custom chopper like the custom street choppers that you see. I've got a gray 160 with about a 4 inch tail on it. I've got a black 160 also with about a 4 inch tail on it. I've got a black 260 with about 5 or 6 inches uninflated. Two pink 260s with about 4 inch tails on both of those. And a gray 360 and I've blown up about six inches on it. We're not going to use all. And we're going to start with one of our pink 260s and we're going to start by making a deep tulip twist. So what we're going to do is take and put your finger on the knot on the nozzle and push it in. And reach and grab it from the outside and work your finger back out. But we want this to be a little deeper than that so take and just push the knot in a little further with one hand and grab it with the other. Because we want it to get just a little bit of curl like that. And then twist it, of course, making sure you've got the knot capture there. Make a little round bubble, make a pinch twist. Again, you want to make sure that knot is inside that pinch twist. Now that's locked and that's going to stay where you need it to be. Now we're going to make about a two and a half inch bubble, followed by another bubble the same size. And then bring that back and lock it into that pinch twist, just like that. That's going to be our uh, rear, where our rear tire is going to be. Now we're going to come up and make about a five inch bubble. Maybe a nice pinch twist. Then we need another bubble the same size as that one. And then lock it back into that pinch twist on the other side. Now we're going to make about an inch, maybe a little more to an inch and a half bubble, followed by two pinch twists to make a round bubble, make that a pinch twist, another round bubble, make that a pinch twist, and the rest of this we're just going to pop off, we don't need any more. Secure that in. Now we're going to take our other pink 260, we're going to do that. We're going to start by making a little round bubble in the end and make that into a pinch twist. Then we're going to make about a two and a half to three inch bubble. It needs to be shorter than this one here. I'm going to make it about a two inch bubble. Twist it into the pinch twist here at the bottom. Now we need another bubble the same size. Bring it back up and twist it into the pinch twist on the end of that one. Like that. Now we're going to need some long forks. This is a chopper type custom knife. You see the ones with the wheels that stick way out. So we're going to make about, that's about an 8 inch bubble. Then we're going to make one more bubble the same size. Twist that back into the two pinch twists there. And then the rest of this we're just going to pop off because we don't need it anymore. Let's secure that in like that. Pop that away. That's the basic frame of your bike there. Now we're going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, our black 260. And we're going to start by making two pinch twists on the end of it. And we're going to make a little small bubble that's maybe a half an inch. And we're going to twist it into this bubble here in the middle. Then we need another bubble the same size as that little one we just made and twist it back into the two pinch twists to secure that. Now, what we want to do is we want to bring this part of the bike back and we're making the engine and so what we want to do is we want to hold this where it's going to stay like that. So put your two pinch twists on the side. And then we're going to take and measure a bubble that's going to pull this in. So that's going to be about a one inch bubble there. Maybe a little less. And twist it into those two pinch twists on the pink one there. And then another bubble the same size to come back to the two pinch twists on the black. So now you can see how that's 
holding that down there. Now what we're going to do, how the you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to make two more little small bubbles, just like that. And then I'm going to lock those once again back into those two pinch twists on the black. Now I want to take and run the black, and I'm going to squeeze it a little bit soft. I want to run it in this gap back to this back here. I'm going to squeeze it so it's kind of soft. Tuck that up in there. And when I get to that pink twist at the back of the pink, twist it into that. And I know this is all looking a little odd right now, but it'll all make sense eventually. At least I hope so. That's going to be our engine. Now what's left, we're going to make our back tire. So we're just going to wrap it around these two pinch twists at the back and come back into there. And then pop the rest of the black off. We no longer need it. Put that end up in there. Bring your fender back and now you can see that tulip twist is going to come back over that back wheel to make our back fender. This is going to be where our engine is. So now we're going to take and grab our uh, black, uh, excuse me, our gray 360. We're going to twist a little small, about a one inch bubble on the end, and we're going to twist that into the front here. Let's pinch this to the top of the front porch. That little bubble is going to represent our headlight. Now the gray 360 is going to be our gas tank, so we're going to take and bring this back and figure out where it's going to meet up with that. And you want it a little stretched out to give it a kind of elongated look. So figure out where you want it to be. And then twist off the bubble a little bit. And twist that into those two pinch twists on the pink one there. And that's all we need of that gray 360 so the rest we can pop off. And dispose up. We no longer need that. Just where that leaves in. So there's our gas tank, and as you can see, it's starting to take on shape. You should be able to see the bike in a little more. Tuck those up inside there. There we go. So it'll fit a little prettier. Good. Now we're going to take our gray 160. We're first going to make our spokes for our front wheel. So you're going to make a little three-quarter inch bubble. Another bubble the same size. Grab the knot and the nozzle end and lock those two together. And then we're going to make three more pairs of those bubbles, the same size, and each time we'll make a pair. And then lock them together. Another pair. And then lock them together as I wrap that around. And then one more pair of them. Just like that. And then lock those together. I wrap that around a couple of times. And we're going to pop off the gray one. Fix it. We want to keep it inflated because I'm going to use that for our handlebars. So. Tie off this end here. Or let go of it. Don't worry if that happens, just grab another and blow it up and pretend like it didn't happen. And you're going to take your spokes and attach them into the front of your front fork. Bring them up into the middle. Lock them in place just like that. Inflate another gray 160 real quick. To replace the part that I let go. And then we just need to make our handlebars. So we're going to make a little small, about a one inch bubble, a pinch twist. And then we're going to make about a six or seven inch bubble, another one, and then another pinch twist. One more little one inch bubble, pop off the excess. Tie that in. And turn that up a little bit. So you basically have that, and you're going to fold it in half for your two handlebars. And of course, those are going to go right up here at the front of your gas tank. And that tank's quick. Give them a little bit of shake there. So now you've got your handlebars, and the bike is definitely starting to take more shape now. All we have left is our black 160. 
what we're going to do with it is first make our, our front tire. So what we're going to do is poke it up into forks and then measure around to where it's going to meet. Like that. Remove that. Keep this other part inflated. We're going to use it to fill out our, our seat here in a moment. Tie that piece off. Set it aside. Now our front tire. Let's take and poke that back up through there. Tie the two rings together. And then put the part that's tied up in the middle of the, the forks. Wrap the other part around your spokes. There's your front tire. Now we're going to take the remainder of our 160 here. We're going to twist the nozzle end, or the, the knotted end, into the two pinch twist there at the back of the gas tank. Now we're going to take and lay these along here until you get to that pinch twist there. And we're going to twist them in there, just like that. And wrap that around to secure it in place. Now before we go back up and complete that, I'm going to take and wrap this up over the top of the seat and twist it in again. That gives a little more definition on our seat with the backrest. And then once you've got that, we're going to make one more little bubble there and come back for the two pinch twists at the back of the gas tank. It's a little distorted now, but we'll straighten it all up in a minute. Put that in there. Pop this off. You don't need it. And of course, if you want, you can always save one of those end pieces of uh, one of the gray or the black ones if you have some. To make a kickstand. Let's get this one back straight here. Bring that around. And there. Your custom street chopper.